Okay, I think this thing is finally pretty much done. It's been way more work than I thought, um, or they have, I should say. But um, it's coming along. Still have to catch mine up. This is Keith's. It's done a little differently inside. Live and learn, I guess. There's no room in here much. It's like trying to stuff five pounds of stuffing and sausage meat into a Cornish game hen's ass. When you need a turkey. Anyways, it, uh, yeah, there should be enough. There's definitely not enough room for a stick pack. Nothing like that. But I think you use lipos anyways, Keith, so it shouldn't be a problem for you. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But I'll figure something out. Anyways, we got uh, a little roof light there. I got it set up on my DX8, and it's on the gear switch. So I can change between the four or five different settings it has, or turn it off. And uh, blades on the rudder. doesn't have a limit switch on it, so you have to be careful uh, when you wind it all the way up not to stall the motor out too much because if, um, if the gear motor goes it will be a pain in the ass to change. It's not impossible, but it won't be that easy. you got to split all this apart. Um, yeah, which isn't very much fun because that means you have to take the whole machine apart, basically. But uh, on the way down, if you go down too far, it'll just wind it up again because it's, it's just string. But um, anyways, I think it'll work alright. I used a little bit lighter springs on it, so it doesn't have quite as much downforce on the blade. But mine struggles to lift it up because the springs are so stiff. Little winch motor doesn't really have enough torque, so anyway. And uh, this thing vibrates. I don't know. Not sure what how much it's really gonna accomplish when you're in dirt, but it does make a slight difference, I guess. And the chicks dig it because it's got fun bumps and it vibrates. That's a plus. Anyways, I ended up, um, this is what I did inside here. Slightly nicer version inside this one. This is the the prototype, if you will. Anyways, I made these up out of Delrin. Put some quarter inch bearings in there. And then a quarter inch steel tube. Goes through this conduit, which is actually loaded with quarter inch carbide chunks that are the length of the conduit which is just short of two inches I think they are right around two inches anyways so it's pretty heavy I think this is uh, 27 or 28 ounces without the motor just the carbide alone and then the motor goes on it so it's a little bit heavier than that but the good part about it is it wheels around and it just hangs there so you're not actually trying to roll this mass. I mean, sure, you're trying to push extra weight on the machine, but you're not actually trying to turn this as the machine rolls. So it should help with how it wheels around. I drilled out the existing little factory divots that were in there. And uh, put some 256 stainless bolts in. The wire runs through there. And... Uh, I think it should be able to run on there for a long time. On this one I actually slipped a piece of heat shrink on there. So it should be good. I don't think there's going to be any issues with chafing there. I have to run this thing around for forever. But anyhow, it's kind of cool. I wish I had a battery that fit in it, but I don't. This is the best I can do. 
she's pretty cool. I'm happy to have it done. And uh, yeah, wish there was more room in it. That's been the major struggle is trying to find space for everything inside. And uh, yeah, there's just not a lot of room in there. But anyways, hopefully it works out. Get a small enough battery pack. Should be good. Anyways, hope you like it, Keith. I'll try and catch mine up tomorrow and then be done with these things. Woohoo! It's enough plastic for me. Back to metal, please. Alright, thanks for watching.